Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Dith Martians I have landed playthrough in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine. Now we have conversions we can do. So let's get them out converting all the good stuff. We also need to have a look through this tab to see if we can put anything down. Hmm. We'll keep that. That might just burn off naturally. As might that. Um... Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it, but that should be fine. It is all Norwegian. How about our cultures? English. Right, we'll promote English now. That's a decent amount of what we have. We're only going to end up taking more English. Um, we we'll also have quite a lump of Irish as well. What's Norwegian? 6%. Yeah, let's have a look at the culture map mode. Yep. Yeah. So all that is English. Um, so we're we're only going to add to the amount of English that we have. So accepting that culture uh, makes sense. We can embrace the institution because it's based on manufacturers, and we got in there early and built a shed load of manufacturers all over our country. So even though it's spawned here. It was already spreading everywhere. Everywhere. And this number has only gone up recently because we integrated Norway. And so suddenly the percentage that it's in has gone down. We should have probably should have probably uh, embraced this institution before we integrated Norway. Oh well, you live and learn. You live and you learn. Alright, we're waiting for... We're waiting for what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Are we doing an idea soon? I don't know. If we were to do an idea, what would it be? Military idea. So we'll get a military idea. Military candidate. Do we? No. No. Admin guy. Always admin guy. Come on. We've got things to call. Anything else we can spend on development, that'll be alright. We're improve relations with Nassau so that hopefully we can get them in our bellies pretty soon. And we're going to fabricate on Sweden because I believe hmm, I like to with Spain. Interesting. Really? Really? So if I was to declare, you wouldn't because called into multiple wars. That's the only reason, is it? So you would if I was out of this war. That'd be interesting. I think between Commonwealth and me, if we tweep into Sweden and take them out very, very quickly, we could turn our attentions to Spain. And I reckon between the two of us, we could take Spain. Easily take Spain. So we'll... Now we've got plenty of time to fabricate on Sweden. We'll keep the diplomat free for peace negotiations with Britain. As and when that happens, I hope it's soon. Yearly corruption, plus five. Not good. Not good. Well, it's matches to finish and then we'll, we'll all head over to Ireland. We have naval superiority, which is paramount when you fighting the likes of Portugal, uh, Spain, Great Britain, even France has been known to chuck out a heavy or two. We should get out just in time. Oh no. Yeah, let's, let's uh, sink these lights. And we have development to do. Yeah, four years ahead of time. Let's do a little bit of development. Right. Let's develop 
again in places that will unlock a building spot so multiples of 10 we need to get this number up to multiples of 10 which might take a while to go through for yeah a little bit more about to, yeah about to 18 then when we have spare military points we can bring this up to an even 7 yep anywhere else oh, looks like someone decided to do hoovering I think it, that's in next door nice one any more Carl let's get you to 9 just for all time's sake down to 400 mm. don't worry spending all the points although we are a number of years ahead You want to try and get all the provinces up to kind of a, a base level. Yeah, you, you do incur penalties for, say, marsh. Local development, development cost plus 25. But let's see. Let's get a, a high development province. 30. If I was to click the button here, 76. All right. So if I was to click a button here, 31, it just it makes sense to develop the lower developed provinces you'll get more bang for your buck even if you're going to take a little bit of a penalty for it being woods or mountains or things like that so we'll get these up to a, a decent level yeah 25% about seven all right that'll do for now he says with only 17 points left that one but then every single click that you heard was us bringing in more tax revenue so contributing in entirely to this number here now with the amount of churches that we have dotted around. Speaking of churches, let's put some more down. If we're going to chuck taxation up, we might as well get the most out of it. With the amount of churches we've got knocking about as well, which give you. Alright. Hmm. Replaces the church. That'll be an interesting one. Uh, local tax modifier plus 40%. It just it's compounding modifiers uh, and that's that's what you have to do to get the most out of provinces local tax modifier plus 60 percent it's a lot of money though trade depot we already have the trade depot in the areas where they count uh, areas that they count include uh, the areas with centers of trade you want trade buildings in these kind of areas just to take advantage again stacking of modifiers we also want to give this to the burgers um, wh whenever that comes around when we've got this cord turn it into a state if we give this to the burgers like we have done with seedland 89 trade power Controlled by burgers plus fifty percent, trade depot plus one hundred percent, coastal plus yeah, can't really do much about coastal yeah, colonialism yeah all right, but it's that trade depot and burgers, it's there an extra hundred and fifty percent, a base of twenty six, but trade power of eighty nine, all told, and that's that's what you want to do that's that's how you want to 
view these kind of provinces this and uh, this will be exactly the same trade depot controlled by burgers an extra 150 percent bang this not so much because it doesn't yeah we, we haven't given it to a we haven't turned it into a state therefore we can't give it to the burgers yet but this should have trade depot yep local autonomy yeah it's quite high because we've just taken it in war but again we'll give this to the burgers can we do it now no it's only a uh, territorial core as soon as we can turn it into a proper state this will go to the burgers same as with the Lothian when we took that from Britain in the first war chucked it straight at the burgers and again 100% trade depot controlled by the burgers 50% it just it's all about stacking the modifiers there's no point no there's there's little point in putting a trade depot up here because an extra 100% 100% on top of a base of 2.4 you're not really it's not efficient it's a hundred percent of not much is still going to be not much so in places like this you got to think well what else can I do what else can I use it for the manufacturing is a bit yeah a bit crap so what we've we got here in, in its place we do have a manufacturing because the institution that we are in the process of getting um, needed manufacturers so we were plopping them down absolutely everywhere we went absolutely mental with them got a shipyard we'll have a shipyard in pretty much every single um, coastal province that we have just because I value them so much uh, that naval thought force limit being able to chuck out a load more trade ships that's great and so well, the church, a church for that plus forty percent local tax modifier, and the sooner you can get this down, the sooner you start making some really good money out of your provinces. But yeah, there are there are places where you want to concentrate on your production, such as the high value trade goods, um, the stuff that's produced in that province. Link it, workshop. With manufacturing, yep, and you'll get the most out of it. Anyway, I've been waffling on for ages now. On we go. I will get all this sieged out. Uh, we'll probably end up going down to the Caribbean to expand Norwegian West Indies of all people that we've managed to uh, scoop up we integrated Norway and I thought that when you integrate the overlord of a colonial nation I thought the colonial nation got released it always used to get released it also always used to get released wow that's hard to say You're, are you going on them ships? Nope. It's an interesting development we find ourselves here. The one one, are you shitting me? Against the two four. Alright. Hmm. This could be interesting. Alright. We need to get back. We need to bring everyone together. Oh well.
We got them on par for it, I suppose. Where's our transport fleet? Is that you? Yep. Come on then, pick these guys up. Even 48, even 48 on 36. I'm not that confident. <laughs> not with this horrific general. Why wow, we rolled three. Yeah, we've got poor army tradition, but a one pip, a one pip. My word. Well, we'll give ourselves a little bit of time to recover. Three separatists, love it. Between Derbyshire, yeah. You're going to Norfolk. Oh no. Really? You took that fight? Alright. Nope, everyone. We will use mercenaries to take these two provinces back. Alright, and get bums on seats. As per usual. Yeah, mission restraint. We have things to do. Right, you get around that. I will charge these down wherever they go. Hopefully wipe them. No, not you. Paradox please with the with the space bar, the the button that you press and you make the game stop. Hmm. I don't care about the Bahamas right now. We ended up with a Norwegian colony. So that keeps popping up every now and then. Like I don't have a colony. All oh, right, yeah, that one. Hello, receiver. You're locked. You are locked into a fight in the Highlands. Right. I. All right. Squish. Squish. And there's a decent fight going on here. Where's our trade fleet? Where's our North Sea trade fleet? Oh, that is, is it? No, that's both of them combined. Uh, yeah, come in for repairs. Both of you. Print is still dangerous. Bring the other 30 across to help out. I don't need you. And don't need you. Constructed ground fleet. No, because it means making 20 heavies. And that's not going to work for me. 
sorry. Got a little bit caught out by the uh, the British there. No. Are you nearly finished? Are you nearly fixed? No. Right, let's not force that fleet out then. But autonomy will be fine. Uh, you fix now? Yep. All right. That's fine. Let's see if this is a better fight for us. Yeah, they've got a decent general. Uh, We've got an explorer of all people, an explorer with zero maneuver and fall shock. Hmm. We'll take the points. Uh, it was comparable, I suppose. Why we need? What is this? Oh, Bohemia. Well done, mate. Bohemia and uh, Nassau sort me out. Square me away. Square my rebels away for me. 30,000 Bohemias. 30,000 Bohemians. From this little lump here. Love it. Absolutely love it. But yeah, we'll get the uh, mainland Britain done. And then we'll probably try and transport some to West Indies. Although we... We seem to have a, we seem to be having troubles with uh, the Britons in terms of navies. Took our eye off the ball, got a little bit lazy, a little bit lax. And still dangerous when they want to be. Should have probably respected them a little bit more. Yeah, we need to sit someone on them colonies. On the one colony that we've got down there. Why have we got a colony? I don't know. I know, I know. What is our colonial? We, we don't have it in because we haven't taken colonial ideas. Interesting. Where do you think you're taking them? Right, where are we in terms of points? Anyway, no, that was, was my alarm. And for uh, quite a few of these episodes, there would have been almost 30 minutes. And that's not acceptable, really. So, we're just squishing the last of the resistance on mainland Britain Island. Uh, we did get a bit surprised by the, uh, the British stack that came out of nowhere. It probably landed. We we should have had our sh all our ships together and patrolling around and we didn't for this war and uh, that caught us out that was just me being lazy uh, we did have uh, rebels pop in Norway and our vassals were doing good work they were sorting them out for us but now they don't seem to be doing anything so we'll see, we'll see what's going on there. Uh, we'll also spend our monarch points. We'll probably embrace the tech. Yeah, probably. And we will take some men down to our colony to stand on it. So that it doesn't pop rebels again, I suppose. 
I don't. I, I don't. I don't want to abandon it because if Norwegian West Indies get one more province down here, then we get an extra merchant from them. So there is value in it. So we'll die. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. I've been Liquor Marine. As always, you have been amazing. Join me the next time when we don't underestimate Britain. Perhaps. Take care.